Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Brad Parks. And we've got the new 20,000 series behind us from the uh, three-part line. But I understand you guys also had to do some uh, software updates in order to uh, kind of enhance this hardware. Yeah, what a lot of people don't think about is when you, you know, when you move to flash and you're operating at sub-millisecond latency, you also have to rethink how do you do data services like data protection, data mobility, you know, the whole package that you wrap around the hardware. So what kind of things did you specifically change? Um, so I guess first in that kind of data protection, data, availab data availability space, um, we kind of broke that into a few pieces. First, um, we released a new software feature called Persistent Checksum that makes sure data has data integrity all the way from a host server, HBA, all the way into the storage array. And does that fit in with the, the kind of idea of federation as well? Um, yeah, a little bit. The uh, federation's the idea of linking systems into a single aggregate pool. So we released another feature called bidirectional peer motion. So you can take four of these 20,000 systems, put them in a federation, and you get aggregate capacity of about 60 petabytes or 12.8 million IOPS. It's just absurd, but you can move workloads non-disruptively around in that federation. Uh, we also did a couple other things uh, also related to data protection. Um, I understand there's a uh, way that you can migrate EMC workloads into 3PAR? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So EMC, we've had online import from, uh, from EVA. Uh, we've had online import from EMC for the last year, and this year we announced online import from HDS. So all of those traditional high-end tier one systems that are getting long in the tooth, uh, people can move to Flash. Uh, I think one of the reasons people are moving to Flash is you can consolidate so many floor tiles. Uh, it would actually take 21 racks of high-end EMC gear to, uh, to fit in what you can do in three racks of the 20,000. So now we can just online import and away you go. I'd say uh, that sounds like a lot uh, smaller data footprint. It's, pretty, it's a pretty good story. I think one of the other pieces that we're excited about at the show is around data protection. Um, you can also, as part of rethinking your data services, uh, now you can do snapshots on your 3PAR and then move those directly to a data protection device uh, with HP StoreOnce. It's a product called StoreOnce Recovery Manager Central. All right, so that's, the, that's kind of the four yeah. key areas. I think. It was a big announcement. We did a ton of stuff. The last piece, oh, I almost forgot. Um, replication. Something a lot of the, the little kind of newer startup all flash vendors don't have the tier one data services. And replication is one of those. Um, we announced something called async streaming replication for our remote copy replication software. Um, what it does, it lets you do replication over you know, thousands of miles with only one second of downtime, a recovery point of one second. And why that's important is when you're doing synchronous replication between sites, that adds latency. And the whole reason you bought a flash array is to get very low latency. So this lets you get the best of very high performance, but with a very low recovery point, so uh, high availability. Very cool, thanks Brad. Hey, no worries, thanks a lot.